Oh, hello everybody. Today is November 11th, 2022. And I'm glad, happy, very happy to say I think the nightmare is over. <laughs> My daughter and I spent a two, good two weeks working on clearing out the rest of our stuff from the house in Rochester and uh, doing some fixing up, painting and cleaning up and uh, we brought everything up, made our last trip up last Tuesday, which would have been at the 8th, sounds right, yep. Brought up the last load on, on Tuesday, up to Ely. And look what we were greeted with. Now thankfully it didn't snow on the way up, but it did rain a lot. And then yesterday, the rain turned to snow. Last night we got this nice coating. So yeah, winter has begun. Now, there's still a lot for me to do. I got a lot of stuff I need to put away, find home for, all the rest of it. And in addition, I've got two shows coming up real quick. I have one next weekend. And I got some stuff I need to get ready for that. And then uh, two weeks after that, I have another show. So, depending on how successful the first show is, uh, that's going to determine just how busy I am getting ready for the second show. And hopefully it is very successful. And so the second show is the first weekend in December. <clears throat> so of course after that show, there's all the preparations for Christmas and all the rest of it. So even though I'm finally up in Ely, I don't have to do the running back and forth to Rochester anymore. The packing up, the painting, the fixing, the and all the rest of it. I still don't think I'm going to get much content on my channel until January of 2023. Who knows? I might be wrong. But the good news is I'm pretty much done with the move. Of course, we still have to wait for the house to sell. It's been on the market for a couple of days. It's had a lot of uh, showings. No offers yet, so not sure how long that's going to take. But at least there's not much that I have to do. Except for just wait for the offers to come in. Until it does sell. So, yeah. It's pretty much over and done with. <sighs> and I can start enjoying, enjoying this place to its fullest. So anyway, while I explore this trail, I'll uh, close out the video. 
unless I find anything extraordinarily interesting along the way. But, oh man, oh man, oh man, am I ever happy to get up here. Not have to make that drive down to Rochester anymore. That was really worrying on me. And I was so, so glad that I had my daughter to help me get things squared away on that house. With her, without her help, I'd still be working at it. But we were, both worked like crazy, long days, long hard days. And uh, now I'm trying to get back into the swing of things here. <laughs> After two years of moving and driving back and forth and concentrating on the move more than anything else, I, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what normal is anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure what I should be doing anymore. <laughs> but hopefully this is a good start on the rest of my life. And so looking, looking forward to many more walks in the woods. I'll definitely get back to you sometime, but like I said, it could be a while. It still could be a while before I find the time to make or edit any more videos. But at least now it's not the move that's the problem. So. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe. If you want to get notified when I put a new one out, which probably will be a while, remember to hit that bell so you get notifications. And please like this video. The likes definitely help. But overall, thanks for watching. See you on trail. Snowy, watery, or otherwise. Maybe Mark's out. <laughs>